welcome back in this video we're going to talk about rules for creating custom hooks and we will create our own first custom hook so let's go and start I would grab our last example that we had usually we won't write something like this directly inside our component and instead we'll typically call it from a custom hook this will let us use this logic in other components if they need it so first I would create a file I have called it use online. This is the first rule that the custom hook should start with use and then something use whatever.js. Then I would go here and grab these part from here and use them here and also this part. So I would define a function here called use online. And the only thing that we return is this online status. We get to the second rule that we can call the hooks from inside our own hook. Something like this. Our hook is done. We need to only export it. And then use it here. So instead of this, we just say, and I don't need this. As you can see, this component is now very, very smaller in size, and all the logic is down here. And it should work the same. As you can see, we are connected. Great. So we talked about two of the rules. The name should start with a lowercase use, and then something after that. We can only call books in top level so it's okay to say use effect here but we cannot call the books from inside loops conditions and stuff like that so if as you can see I'm getting an error here because effect is not supposed to be inside the condition or a loop or something like that and we can only use hooks in the functional components it's not working with the class components so these are the rules and this is our custom hook and with that we get to the end of this series i hope you have enjoyed watching the video and learned something until next video have a great time and have fun welcome <clears throat> welcome back in this video we're going to talk about welcome back in this video we're going to talk about custom holes in this video we're going to talk about custom hooks and the rules that are in this video we're going to talk welcome back in this video we're going to talk about welcome back in this video we're going to talk about custom hooks and the rules that Welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about rules for creating custom hooks. And we will create our own first custom hook. So let's go and start. I would grab the last example that we had that we would that that would get the online status. I would work on the I would work on the last example that we had and create a custom hook for our usually we don't write our own usually usually we won't write something like this directly inside our component and instead we'll typically call it from a custom hook that with this this will let us use this logic in other components if they need it so first I would create a file I have called it use online this is the first rule that the custom hook should start with use and then something use whatever.js
Then I would grab these parts, these logic part. Then I would go here and grab these parts from here and use them here. And <clears throat> and also this part. So I would define a function here called use online. And the only thing that we return is this online status. We get to the second rule that we can call the hooks from inside our own hook something like this so our hook is done we need to only export it and then use it here so instead of this we just say I don't need this and the rest is simple as you can see this component is now very very cleaner and smaller in size and all the compo all the logic is down here and it should work the same and it should work the same as you can see we are connected great so we talked about two of the rules the name should start with a lowercase use and then something after that we can only call the hooks in top level so it's okay to say use effect here but we cannot call the hooks from inside loops conditions and stuff like that so if As you can see, I'm getting an error here because I because it's not because an effect is not supposed to be inside the condition or a loop or something like that. And we can only use hooks in the functional components. It's not working with the class components. So these are the rules, and this is our custom hook. And with that, we get to the end of this series. I hope you have learned. I hope you have enjoyed watching the video and learned something. Until next video, have a great time and have fun.